All right, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala, Yahweh Bashem, Yahshai Bashem, Rakwakwadash. The Lord is to the head apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to all the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, yours in this road abroad, all around the world. Through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahshai. Now, you know, as Bresic, Bresic, you know, which is which stands for British leaving the EU. British leaving the EU, you know, as they began to leave, as they left, now France, which represents, which is Fresix, you know, which represents France leaving the EU, is following suit. And we call this, you know, through the head of apostles, you know, elder, the elder apostle to Hall, you know. We call this, and, you know, from the head of apostles on down, we call this, you know, that these other nations were going to end up breaking off the EU. And now that, you know, um, the British, you know, Britain left, now, you know, it's France that wants to leave now. You know, they join and, you know, they join up with um, the British, you know, about leaving the EU. So let me just get into the scripture, um, to this um article right here. This is um Express, you know, news, and it's dated Thursday, February sixth, twenty twenty. So it says, "Viva la um, viva la Brexit." EU panics as Fresix campaign um. Campaigners join with Brexit party in in threat to block. So it reads, um, Frexix, um, campaigners have teamed up with the former Brexit party MES to celebrate the UK's departure from the European from the European Union and lead. And led to battle to ensure France follows them outside of the Brussels block. So, you know, here it is. You know, France is now following um the um British, and we and we call this, you know, and this is prophecy. Is this is going into the ten toes when it was partially strong and partially weak. And pretty much they're breaking off, like I said, it's because of the money system. They're, econo they're having economic woes in their country. And they know where those economic woes are coming from. You know, it's coming from, you know, NATO and the EU, you know, which, which America is being held up by these uh, um, other European countries. You know, going back to, you know, Revelations. I believe the 17th chapter, you know, and these other nations now, they, they're not having it, <laughs> you know, then they're not, they're not having it. They're not, they're not picking up the tab, you know, for America no more, you know, that they're, they're, they're going on and they're forming, you know, they're forming alliances outside of, you know, the EU. They're going to form their own alliance. And this is what you're seeing right now taking place. You know, which goes back to the prophecy of Daniel's, the statue, you know, right now we're at the feet, we're at the toes, you know, where it says it's partially, where it says it was partially strong and partially broken. But let's read on in here in this um, article. So it says French Popular Republican Union, U, UPR, po politicians, um, politician Charles, um, Charles Henry um, Gallos joins former Brexit Party MEPs last week to celebrate Brexit's day in 
the the Western Minister arm in um London, the French. Euro Euro Spectacle launched his first battle against the European Union to lead France out of the Brussels out of the Brussel um block and follows Britain's example in a video posted by Mr. Gallows on Twitter. The French politician thanks the Brexit party's Alex Alexandria Phil, um, Phillips and the Brexit teens in the room for paving the way for other countries in the EU in the EU to leave the blockade. You see, and we called this already. You see, we called it. We said that these other nations will end up will end up following suit. You know, we said that these other nations will end up following suit. And there will be more nations within the EU to leave the um to leave the European Union. So we called it. And now you're seeing it being manifested. You know, now you see it being played out right before your very eyes. You know. And this is gonna cause a, a total collapse within the economic system. Now you don't have these other nations within the EU anymore, you know. It's gonna cause a total economic shift within the um within NATO and the EU. Now that these other these nations are leaving. So let me get a precept real quick. So this is the book of Matthews, chapter 12, verse, let me see here, verse 26, and it reads, If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? So the Lord's asking the question, if Satan casts out Satan, and he's divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? You know, this is a very good, this is a good question that the oh Lord Yahweh Shai is asking. And you're seeing division among Esau Edom right now, you know, with um them being a member of the EU, NATO and the EU. Now they no longer want to be a, that's the vision. When they leave the EU, they're divided. Now they don't no longer want to be a, be a part of the EU. So that's the vision right there. So the Lord says, how shall his kingdom stand now? How is the so-called white man's kingdom stand? It's going to stand now with this division. You know, now, now there's going to be a Fresix that's going to take place. And soon after, you're going to have a, a Swesix, a Northix, you know, which is Sweden. You know, we told you that these other nations, you know, through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai was going to follow suit. And they surely are following suit. You know? So this is a major thing right now. Now there's division. The now there's division the amongst Esau within this kingdom. And, so, and soon, sooner or later, his kingdom is just going to implode within himself and collapse upon his head. Because right now we're seeing a major collapse right now. Because that's going to, by France leaving, it's going to cause a major shift in that whole economic situation. You know? So.
So pretty much, you know, that's all I got to say about that. You know, prophecy is coming to pass. You know, these prophecies are now speaking and not lying. You know, now the vision is starting to speak. You know, pursuing. Let me get that real quick. So this is the book of Hebrews chapter, no, not Hebrews, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. And it reads, the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry, you know? So it may seem like it was tarrying for a while, you know, when you know, brothers being out there for years and years, you know, and, you know, nothing's happening. And then you got these scoffers and scorners laughing and giggling on the comment board saying that it's not going to happen. But now it's starting to happen. That's why, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, the elder apostle to hard dub this year, the year of prophecy, because now prophecies are coming to pass left to right, right before our very eyes. Now you don't see these scoffers and scorners, you know, pumping out their chest no more on the comment boards because prophecy is now coming to pass. Because this is the year, this is indeed the year of prophecy, you know. So with that, you know, I'm just not going to make this video too long, but I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rekwakwadash, double honest to that apostles of great millstone at Ruel, peace and citation to Yakim on the highways and byways all around the world, doing the work diligently and faithfully and sincerely through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Shai. And with that, I want to say Shalom.